And now a getaway attempt coming to a smashing stop. Highway patrol troopers using a pit maneuver in this turnpike takedown. The 19 Samantha Sosa live at the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale. She's got this, Samantha. Well, three accused drug dealers in jail right now after creating chaos on the highway and the whole thing caught on dash cam video. Cocaine in a car chase has three people behind bars in the Broward County Jail Thursday evening. Police say it's them in this black Chevy Silverado. Blowing through traffic, recklessly running from the law. But not for long. Florida Highway Patrol troopers spinning them out with a pit maneuver. Look what happens next. With troopers' guns drawn, the suspects get out of the truck, throw themselves to the ground. People driving by capturing part of the takedown. We've highlighted where one of them is placed under arrest. According to FHP, this all started Wednesday around 4.30 on the turnpike near Commercial Boulevard. A DEA agent was conducting surveillance on one of the people in the truck and called FHP for backup. Troopers say when they tried to pull the truck over, they wouldn't stop. Broward County Aviation followed the chase from above, an arrest report stating they were able to capture as the occupants of the Silverado began to discard items out the front passenger window. After searching the area, here's what they found. More than a kilo of cocaine, two Glocks, and a handgun. Here are the three suspects again. 26-year-old Vincent Barbosa, 33-year-old Tremaine Reed, and 30-year-old Julian Montez, who troopers say was the driver. On count one, you're charged with armed trafficking cocaine. Montez appearing in court Thursday morning. Yes, sir, on count one, you're going to be on no bond. Meanwhile, Barbosa admitted to officers that the trio was going to sell a kilogram of cocaine to a buyer for $20,000 who was waiting for them to arrive. He also blamed his alleged accomplices for throwing the illegal items out of the car. Well, all three of the suspects have extensive criminal histories, including multiple felonies, so they will all be staying in jail tonight. We're reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Samantha Sosa, 7 News Night Team.